Hello, hope you're doing good. Welcome to my busy, busy time tracking software tutorial. Finding a good time tracking software can be a very tedious task, especially if you have a team that works remotely. With busy, busy, they hope to quell that and assist you. And you can get started for completely free as they offer a 14 day free trial period that you don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. I will be leaving a link in the description that you can use to get started. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard like this. On this dashboard, you will be able to fill in your account information, so for example your business name. You can also create your profile and then you will be redirected to the company setup. In the company setup, you will be able to choose the amount of employees that you have. So for example, I will be using 1 to 4. Then you can select the trade or the category that your business is in. So you can see the numerous different options you can select from. So for example, I will be selecting landscaping. You can also see the different features. So pay period schedule. You can edit that if you want. But we'll just tap on next step for now. Then in addition to time tracking, what else can they help you with? Would you like them to help you with job costs? photo documentation, budgets, or so on. You can scroll down and you can select whichever one of these features. So for example, let's say I were to select job costing, budgets, and also you can scroll down. And if you would like them to use their G GPS feature for equipments, you could also use that. And I'll select schedule in. Then you'll tap on next step. After selecting next step, you have three different options when it comes on to their time tracking monitoring. You can either use it on your employee's phone, have a supervisor track time, or digital Kisco. I'll be selecting supervisor's track time, but you can select whichever one of these methods. Then you will tap on finish. After you have selected finish from there, if you like to go on to their premium plan, you can do that. But at the moment, I'm going to stick with the free trial, so I'm going to select no. Then we'll tap on explore the app. After you have selected explore the app, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. Once on your dashboard, you can simply tick the boxes right here to agree to their terms of service. Then tap on continue. Then you're going to close the pop-up box. And this is how your dashboard looks. The first thing you're going to do once on your busy busy dashboard, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select employees. After selecting employees at the moment, you can see that it is blank. You're going to tap on manage from the top navigation bar. After selecting manage from here, you're going to tap on create in the top left hand corner and you can start creating new employees. So for example, I'll just create a test employee right here. And you can put in a username. You can also create a password for them. And then you can choose their position as you can see right here. Whether they're only an employee, supervisor, manager, or admin. You can set that up right there. So this is where you'll be able to add your employees. After you have added your employees, it is now time to create your first project. So we'll go over to the left hand menu option, tap on projects. Then from there, you're going to tap on manage from the top navigation bar, then tap on create. Here is where you'll be able to input the name of your project. So for example sake, let's say we have a project to cut lawn just for example sake. So I'll type in cut lawn then you could input the company information that you'll be cutting the lawn for their address you can also set up geolocation right there then once you're finished you're going to tap on create so you can see right here that i've created this task right here now after you have created the task you can tap on it and you can view it as you can see there after you have created your first project, if you would like to create sub projects or sub tasks, you could do that. So for example, you'll go over to the top right hand corner right here, tap on manage. After you have done that, you can tap on the project that you have created. Then you'll see the option sub projects. 
and you could create sub projects by tapping on create so for example instead of just saying general cut lawn for example we could assign someone to bring lawnmower so you could say bring tools so you could type that in right there so that could be a sub project and again you could fill in the company information and so on if you want then you'll tap on create so you can see it right here so the main project is to cut the lawn and you can see sub tasks right below it as you can see right there now after you have created your task and you have also add in the employee by the way when it comes on to employees i want you to go over to the left hand menu option once more and i want you to tap on employee after you have selected employee i want you to tap on manage and then from there you could select the employee name and by scrolling down you'll be able to set up their wages so you'll be able to set up their hourly rate or weekly rate or so on so this is where you'll be able to set up how much they are getting paid per hour per day or per week after you have done this you can go over to the left hand menu option once more and this is where you will tap on time cards so because i had chosen the supervisor option that means that the supervisor will be the one that will be responsible to put in the time that the employees work so for example the supervisor will come onto this dashboard select time cards then select entries after selecting entries they'll simply tap on the plus right here to create a time entry after they have selected that they can select the employee select the employee name then after doing that they can select the date they can also select the time if the employee took any breaks they could add in the breaks right there after doing that they can add in the total amount of hours that the employee worked also the project that they worked on by tapping on project right there they could select the project if they have any details that they like to add they can add it in right there then they'll tap on create at the bottom of the page so that employee their time for that particular day our project would have been logged right here so that's how they'll be able to log it and keep a time tracker of each employee so if you had chosen a different method to track the time that you could tap on the clock or so on but because i had chosen to be tracked by the supervisor you can see how it would look and you can also use their payroll feature by tapping on payroll right here after tapping on payroll from there you can see the different options you can select employee from the left right there and you could select the employee name after you have selected the employee name you can choose whether it is payroll hours or payroll labor costs you can select either option then you'll just tap on apply after you have tapped on apply from here you would see the hours that the employee has worked and you can see pay period complete you can select whichever one of these options and you can also go over to the left hand menu option and from there if you go onto their paid plan you'll be able to enable the equipment tracking and so on so you could tap on enable equipment and you could tap on manage right here after you have tapped on manage from here you could tap on create and you could add in your equipment name and you'll be able to use this platform to also help to track your equipment you can also use their scheduling feature so you could tap on calendar and from here you can set up the calendar for different employees so you can see the different tasks that they will be scheduled to on a particular day or a particular week and you can also use their geo tracking feature by tapping on map from here you'll be able to track employees projects and equipments and you can also use their budgeting feature by tapping on budgets from here you can scroll down and you could enable it and you could view their budgeting features and that's basically it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe